During spring break of 2016, Chinese students at St. Theodore High School had the opportunity to go to China to not only study the history of the area, but learn about Chinese culture as well. The seniors in the Mandarin Four Honors class will now tell us about their experience of going to China. My favorite memory of China was going to Tiananmen Square because Tiananmen Square definitely is located in a city that is not like any U.S. city because Beijing is, the layout of Beijing is so unique and compared to other United States cities and other cities in the world, it was just a completely new experience. My favorite memory in China was going to the Wild Goose Pagoda in Xi'an. Xi'an was a really clean city. It reminded me a lot of being at home in the United States. And the pagoda was so peaceful. The little temp the Buddha temples around the pagoda were really, really nice. We also got to see a calligraphy shop and buy some ink paintings. And they were so beautiful. So the whole, the whole day was just a really peaceful moment. My favorite memory of China was going out to Shanghai and looking at the beautiful skyline. It was really beautiful to see all of the buildings lit up at night and the big contrast across the Huangpo River with the new Shanghai, which is really, really beautiful, and the old Shanghai, which is mainly European and uh, Western architecture. So it was really different. So my favorite memory um, in China was actually climbing the Great Wall. I climbed all the way to the top and I didn't think I could do it at first, but I did it and it was, it was so cool. Like it's. It's gorgeous and it's almost unreal that this structure has been there for thousands of years and you can still go see it and learn about ancient culture. Okay. So uh, in Chinese they actually have this phrase that is Wu Pa Chang Chang Fei Hao Han and um, so Wu Shi Hao Han. <laughs> it means if you don't climb the Great Wall, you're not a hero. So I climbed the Great Wall, so I'm a hero. <laughs> it's interesting to go to a foreign country in high school because I feel like during high school, you're at the most impressionable age. Because at that age, you your mind is developing to become aware of more cultures and different people around you, and you're gradually starting to emerge yourself in a larger bubble of society instead of your immediate family or your immediate school or your town or city. And I feel like that's necessary for success in the larger world. It's interesting to go to a foreign country in high school because it lets you see the culture of other people around the world. It lets you see how they live, their different lifestyles, and the different ways that they interact with people. So it kind of broadens your horizons and lets you see a little bit outside of your own comfort zone. Lives like You learn about a different culture and you get to experience it firsthand. And you don't really get those um, same experiences just in Chinese class learning, reading from the book about culture. So, you know, it's really interesting. You're so sheltered when you're in the U.S. and it's it's really interesting to go to a different country and see some new cultures and new ways that uh, new ways of life that you might not even know exist. It's really interesting to go and observe how other people live and how other countries' societies just work. How it's so different from ours. The roadway system there were, you could have a giant tour bus on the same road as a guy on a scooter who would be carrying about 3,000 pounds of cardboard haphazardly balanced on the top of the scooter. And it was just interesting because, once again, you could observe how different their way, their way of life is there. And I, I thought that um, going to China was very, very interesting. Many people attempted to practice English with us. So it was a mixture of English and Chinese. But most of the time you did have to speak Chinese because many people in China obviously don't know English so it gave you opportunities to use Chinese in public settings such as restaurants, even hotels, transportation, shopping, and the like. In China I was able to use a lot of the Chinese that I learned, whether it would be getting a friend out of a sticky situation or trying to ask where the bathroom is, I was able to use what I learned here to uh, properly get around in China. And one memory that I have was we went to Wuzhen and we were buying something from the market there and I turned to one of the shop owners and I asked in Chinese like excuse me how much is this item and 
I, I was able to ask the question and then understand his answer and that was, that's kind of when I knew that I, I made it. <laughs> And that means in China we've all made very beautiful memories. Um, the Chinese actually have a saying called Dakaiinjie, which means to have your eyes opened by a new experience. And since high schoolers have the opportunity to go to foreign countries, they can really open their eyes to new experiences or Kui Dakaiinjie.